At the moment, I'm making quick, easy, and cheap recipes, with this one being a creamy garlic rosé pasta. Rosé sauce is literally just tomatoes and cream. Obviously, I've got a few other ingredients here to build up the flavor profile, and I'm also using penne, which is a great vessel to hold all of that sauce. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> Alright guys, let's start this off with half a brown or yellow onion, make thin slices stopping before the root, rotate it 90 degrees and make a slice horizontally through the center to break up the layer formation, then come through and dice this into nice even sized pieces, trimming off any excess flesh from around the root and save the scraps for a stock. Here we have 10 grams or 0.3 ounces of fresh basil leaf separated from the stems and simply give this a quick rough chop to break it down and you can also chiffonade or thinly slice it if you prefer. Next we need 4 cloves of freshly peeled garlic and we're going to thinly slice it this time compared to us usually mincing it which is going to give us a more mellow garlic flavour as the allicin compound which is what gives garlic its strong flavour isn't broken down as much. Also I've been seeing a lot of people using the tip of their knife to thinly slice things but it's actually a lot safer and better for your knife if you use the hill as you have way more control. That being said as long as you're safe hold the knife whichever way is comfortable for you. Now getting this started, place a large saucepan of water over a high heat, generously season with sea salt and bring the water to a boil. Add in 500 grams or 1.1 pounds of the pasta of your choice with myself using penne, give it a quick mix and cook for 1 minute less than what it states on your packet instructions. To make the sauce, place a large high rimmed pan over a medium high heat and once hot pour in 1.5 tablespoons or 30 milliliters of olive oil. Add in the diced onions and saute whilst moving it around regularly for 2 minutes just until it's very slightly golden and translucent. Next, add in the thinly sliced garlic or minced garlic if you prefer and continue sautéing for 45 seconds, moving it around the whole time to avoid it burning. This can then be deglazed with 2 tablespoons or 40 milliliters of white wine or vegetable stock for the non-alcohol consumers. Mix that through and reduce down for 30 seconds, mixing it regularly. Proceed by adding in 1.5 cans, which is 600 grams or 1.3 pounds of diced tomato, as well as 3 picked basil stems for infusion, a nice big pinch of sea salt flakes to taste, 10 cracks of black pepper or more, it's up to you, and I'm also adding in 1.5 teaspoons or 7 grams of sugar to balance the acidity of the tomatoes. Let's now give this a good mix through so those flavours can become friends and bring the sauce to a boil. Add in 180 milliliters or three quarters of a cup of thickened cream, whipping cream or heavy cream, mix it through the sauce and this is now our rosé sauce which from something so simple has created an incredible flavor. Continue to mix it through until fully combined, bring the sauce back to a boil, reduce the heat to low and simmer for six minutes or until the pasta is cooked. After 6 minutes, locate and remove the basil stems which have now infused the sauce, then using a kitchen spider or slotted spoon, transfer the pasta straight from the saucepan into the sauce, bringing along some of that pasta water, also reserving some to adjust the sauce if necessary. Add in the roughly chopped basil and give this all a good mix, ensuring all of the pasta is fully sourced up, adjusting with the reserved pasta water which will help the sauce stick. Also check the seasoning levels, adding in sea salt flakes and of course cracked black pepper if necessary, then give this one final mix through until everything's combined and then removed from the stovetop. As for serving this up, this will serve 4 people depending on how big your portions are, but once it's all bowled up, grate over some parmigiano reggiano cheese, hit this up with some cracked black pepper, garnish with some thinly sliced basil to freshen it up, and drizzle over some extra virgin olive oil for that finishing touch, leaving us with this beautiful and delicious, quick, cheap and easy creamy garlic rosé pasta with only one thing that's left to do, and that is, we can then dig in. <laughs> 